y'all it's chief and i here and today we're going to be doing a hoof tutorial so i'm going to show you all how to care for your horse's hooves better um i have chief here he has some cracking on his hooves as you'll see later um busted out places and i am going to oil them today so i thought it would be a nice day to show you all some things to help keep your Horses hooves healthy and help if they start getting cracked. So I've got hoof picks. I kind of like the ones with the brushes to brush off. I've also got some Hoof Flex Original Conditioner and a brush to apply it with, but you can use any hoof dressing. Even motor oil will work for that, so yeah. Okay, so if you've had horses for very long or been around horse people, you will often hear no hoof no horse, and this statement is very true. If your horse's hooves are not healthy, it can really hurt them. You really essentially don't have a horse anymore. You can lose your horse. Um, you cannot be able to ride your horse. Your horse can become lame. It can mess up a lot of things if your horse's hooves are not healthy. So it's very important that we take extra good care of our horse's hooves and that if you have a horse or if you're looking into getting a horse, you know the proper care of the hoof because it is a very important part of our horse's body. So one thing I like to do, and I like to do this every day, is to pick out my horse's feet. So I usually do this before I ride. Um, you can also do it sometimes after you ride, but I definitely recommend doing it before you ride because that will take out all the rocks and anything that could cause them to be sore and you get a good look at your horse's hooves just checking in to make sure that everything is healthy before you go on your ride so something that often happens is horses get um, bacteria and diseases down in the hoof so some of these common diseases are white line and brush so those usually appear as black smelly places on your horse's hoof. So what we do is if you just see a little bit, just make sure that you pick out all the dirt and all of the yucky stuff in there and especially all that black stuff. Make sure that you scrape it all out to keep a nice clean hoof. So I'm gonna show you all Chief's hoof real quick. Okay, so Chief's hoof is pretty healthy. So you can see it there, it's still, it's kind of wet so I couldn't get everything out. He is shod, meaning he has shoes on, but this is called the frog, this triangle right here. And down in here is where Chief often will get thrushy spots down in that hole, so I like to clean that out really good. And then I like to clean these sides out really good, as you can see. The camera just doesn't show I do the best job when it's like magnified in the camera. So I will take my hoof brush and I'll brush all that excess dirt off, but I get the main stuff with this hard hoof pick. And then I do the same for all four feet. So if your horse does happen to get some type of hoof disease or bacteria in their hooves, um, you can pick up hoof medicine online for them or at your local feed store. Um, I like Copper Tox stuff for my fresh things or we buy Copper Tox for that. And it really works good if you'll pick their feet out every day, keep them super clean, and then apply that onto their head. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is to apply some of this hoof conditioner to his hooves. So when you apply conditioner, it helps a lot with cracking and keeping their feet from getting hard and brittle like that, helping them grow, and it also can prevent against some of those foot diseases. So if you pick up a bottle of this, some hoof dressing, um, you can read all the benefits of hoof dressing. You can also get those usually at your local food store or offline. And I like to do this about once a week. If you have horses that have really hard brittle crack hooves, um, you should probably do it more often, but really it just depends on your horse, I think. So with Chief, he's starting to get 
lots of cracking, so I'm having to do this more often right now. Um, also, talk to your farrier about what they think you should do for your work. Of course, your farrier is not always the best. And another thing that really helps with good hooves, this is super simple, is just making sure that you have a good farrier that's doing a good job on their on your horse and that your farrier is coming often enough so that your horse is getting that what they need often enough and that their hosts won't get diseases so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and now chief's hooves are all nice and cleaned out and oiled bye bye also don't forget to like this video if you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more like it I'll see you all in the next one.